KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. Today in this video, let us going to learn 8 and 9 problems in exercise 12.2 applications of trigonometry of 10th class mathematics. Okay, next question. The angles of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at a distance of 4 meters and 9 meters. Find the height of the tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary. Right? Again, I'm reading C. The angles of elevation of the top of a tower from two points at a distance of 4 meters and 9 meters. Find the height of the tower and in the same straight line with it are complementary. Yes, complementary angles means, yes, exactly. Sum of the angles is equal to 90 degrees, right? Yeah. So, first I'll draw the diagram. See, suppose AB is the tower. AB is the tower. Uh, it has a... AB is the tower. At a distance of 4 meters and 9 meters, two points are there. See, here one point on the base. On the base. Here one point is there. And uh, this is another point. Suppose C, D are two points are there. See. Here, this is, CI is uh, 4 meters has given. Next, AD. AD is 9 meters has given. At a distance of 4 meters and 9 meters has given. So next, uh, these are the angles. These are the angles. Angles of elevations which are complementary. Which are complementary. Which means, suppose this is uh, 30 degrees means this is 60. Or this is 60 means this is 30. Okay. This is suppose 50 degrees has given means this will be 40 like that so here yeah, complementary means some of the angles is 90 degrees now that's why here take as they take as this is theta take as theta then d angle d is equal to how much then yes 90 minus theta very good 90 minus theta this will be both are complementary or not yes exactly uh, from from this figure let us do suppose the height of the tower is h meters the height of the tower be h meters let us think like that yes let the height height of the tower a b b h meters right uh, next and given and given CA is equal to 4 meters and DA is equal to 9 meters, right? From the data, CA is equal to 4 meters and DA is equal to 9 meters. Let the angle of angles of elevation elevation angle BCA angle BCA is equal to theta and angle BDA is equal to 90 minus theta why because of both are complementary angles okay yes look here so for theta this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent right right or not yes so take as Take in triangle, in triangle BAC, in triangle BAC, tan theta is equal to, tan theta is equal to what opposite side? AB by CA, AB by CA, tan theta we don't know, that implies tan theta is equal to, AB means H by, this is, CA is 4, right? Uh, so in the same way, in the same way, in triangle, 
BAD in triangle BAD so all are right angle triangles only we are taking right yes in triangle BAD tan here not theta this is 90 minus theta right 90 minus theta is equal to opposite side is AB AB adjacent side is DA right actually tan 90 minus theta is yes what is that quad theta a square theta is equal to a b h by d a means 9 meters he has given right look here, here tan theta is equal to h by 4 quad theta here quad theta is equal to h by 9 so this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 right uh, see 1 into 1 into 2 gives multiply both so tan theta into quad theta is equal to tan theta into cot theta is equal to actually uh, this is h by 4 h by 4 into h by 9 right tan theta into cot theta yes how much yes 1 why because of this is the reciprocal of cot tan theta this is cot theta so tan theta into this is 1 by tan theta then tan theta tan theta get cancelled the remaining part is 1 is equal to h into h h square by 4 9s are 36 that implies h square is equal to 36 ones are 36 so h is equal to actually plus or minus 6 will come plus or minus 6 but here positive values only we will take by the measures so h is equal to 6 meters so what here h means is height of the pole therefore height of the pole pole is 6 meters understood or not yes okay it is the final sum in the exercise 11.2 and also in this chapter right yeah the angle of elevation of a jet plane from a point a on the ground is 60 degrees after a flight of 15 seconds the angle of elevation changes to 30 degrees if the jet plane is flying at a constant height of 1500 root 3 meter find the speed of the jet plane here speed of the jet plane we should have to find so again see the sum the angle of elevation of a jet plane from a point a on the ground is 60 degrees next after a flight of 15 seconds the angle of elevation changes to 30 degrees yes right if the jet plane is flying at a constant height of 1500 root 3 meters find the speed of the jet plane right yes first you draw the diagram suppose a is a a is the point of observation so from here so at the constant height at the constant height see bc bc it is flying here only it is flying here what jet plane so here making an angle of 60 degrees 60 degrees with the ground right 60 degrees with the ground next after 15 seconds it is flying with constant speed after 15 seconds the angle of elevation changes to 30 degrees ah, so here after 15 seconds the plane has come to here suppose suppose this is a d d and this is, this is also constant height so join this also e so after 15 seconds it, ha it has come to here so this is angle of elevation changes to 30 degrees angle of elevation changes to 30 degrees so and it height is which means bc is equal to 1500 1500 root 3 and d is also equal to 1500 root 3 only right yes then what we have to find the height of find the speed of the jet plane speed speed of the jet plane we should have to find right uh, look here here a b is the distance between um, 
point of observation and a plane on the surface of the earth next it is it is distance covered in cd and be distance covered in 15 seconds 15 seconds right yes suppose a b is think it of x and this is uh, think it of y so by this let us solve the problem yes look here point of observation observation is a he has given right next uh, height of the height of the jet plane jet plane from the earth from the earth bc bc is equal to next uh, de is equal to bc is equal to de is equal to how much yes 1500 root 3 meters right 1500 root 3 meters next uh, angle of elevations angle of elevations angle cab angle cab is equal to 16 uh, yes 60 degrees and angle dae angle dae is equal to 30 degrees right uh, next uh, be is the distance let the distance covered by the plane in 15 seconds be is equal to y okay next uh, and uh, a b is equal to x a b distance between the observation point and uh, uh, the yeah what is that uh, jet plane's height on the earth is x right no need to write this yes first uh, take a tri tri triangle c a b in triangle CAB for 60 degrees this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side what will you take is yes, again tan theta yes in triangle CAB CAB tan 60 degrees is equal to tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite side BC by adjacent side AB BC by AB tan 60 means yes root 3 is equal to BC how much 1500 root 3 by AB. So that implies AB is equal to 1500, 1500. Because here numerator root 3, root 3, both sides get cancelled. AB is equal to 1500 root 3 meters got. Isn't it? Yes. In the same way, in triangle DAE, in triangle DAE, see, tan. 30 degrees is equal to here tan 30 degrees is equal to opposite side de by adjacent side ae de by ae tan 30 means exactly 1 by root 3 de is equal to yes 1500 root 3 by ac ac means actually ab plus be na so ab is x x plus y x plus y right yes next uh, do cross multiplication x plus y is equal to 1500 root 3, 1500 root 3 into root 3. Okay, here in the place of x already, we got x is equal to how much? ab is equal to x is equal to 1500 meters, we got right? Yes, in the place of uh, x, uh, 1500 substitute plus y is equal to 1500 into root 3 into root 3 is? Yes, how much? 3. So, 3 into 1500, yes, 4500 y is equal to 4500 minus 1500 transform this side this will be how much yes 3000 yes yes therefore distance traveled distance traveled in 15 seconds is equal to how much yes 3000 meters the speed of the jet plane speed means what is the formula 
yes uh, speed is equal to speed is equal to distance by distance by yes exactly time so that is distance how much 300 3000 meters by time how much 15 seconds 15 to the 0 0 that is equal to 200 meters per second have you got it so distance traveled in 15 seconds by the jet plane is 200 meters per second have you got it yes. okay friends if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much